Okay, we're going to go south of the border in this one. And I did these, there's three clips, and I did them uh, this in sequence backwards for, uh, for a reason, as you will see. Uh, I wish it would have been the other way, because then I would have had more ammunition going into the second clip, which you're going to see the dynamic in the uh, in this. So the first couple's from uh, Venezuela. Uh, that we're going to uh, be looking at here. The uh, next two gentlemen are journalists, uh, Spanish journalists, uh, located out of Miami. And then we get a couple of uh, 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 Latino ladies from Texas at the end. Uh, and again, you're going to see why this is, uh, the sequence is going in reverse in this one and why I put them all together and I'll you know come in and kind of break that in up for you point out what you should be looking for that will be painfully obvious uh, along the way but the uh, first couple brings up a lot of interesting points about how Venezuela is turning in there's a lot of Islamic terrorists going in and building camps apparently in Venezuela which could uh, provoke our, you know, be an excuse to go for us to have our next war in the um, in Venezuela and then the surrounding countries because they're all basically Marxist run also. But we shall see. Uh, you know, hopefully our prayers and. And uh, higher IQs than the ones I possess will be able to figure out something where we don't have to have uh, any bloodshed. So let's get into them. Um, again, I, I, hey guys, I don't see anything ringing in the till. I need something. This has been tough. It's getting tougher. And I know that. And uh, I know, I, hey, look, I'm not asking for much from anybody but you got to give something okay uh, got to do something because uh, so if you like this like it if you uh, care and share but if you can contribute in any way to uh, me keeping this whole operation afloat uh, Please go get one of my, the best thing I love to do is sell my work, you know, have someone purchase my work. Um, then you get, then it gets to be visual because it's basically all image. Uh, people see things that sticks even more than the, uh, than the words expressed. Picture worth a thousand words, right? Okay, so here we go. Off into the magic world of, uh, video. See you on the streets. Venezuela's been on the news lately. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, what's been going on down there. And me. And where do you live now? Where do you live in now? In Dallas. Dallas. In Dallas? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and what do you do in Dallas? Uh, we we work are electrical engineers. Yeah. yeah. We work in telecommunications. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, so, uh, when was the last time you were in Venezuela? Oh my God, it was several years ago. <laughs> uh, I was in uh, 2011. 2011? Uh, yeah, and because I... uh, mm -hmm. my family, uh, you know, how tough things are over there. So whenever they prefer to visit me here, so they come here like a couple of months, you know, relax. Uh, Comparing the situation, like the safety, the right. food supplies here, and everything, they relax here and then they they go back. So but whenever like I have money, they prefer to come here instead of me traveling. And the same for her. She has a, a brother living in Australia as well, and also, but she came back for a for a morning when you're. When your uh, the wife of your uncle died in 2014, yes, uh, I, my last time in Venezuela was about 
Five years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. you got family still there. They come here from time to time to visit. Yeah, they... yes, for a little vacation. I would hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we hear things on the news, but I, that's why I like talking to people that have... Yeah. Don't believe the news. The things are worse than when the news is worse. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the things are worse. Worse than it is. Well, I mean, I've heard that as bad as that there is no toilet paper, people are eating oh. zoo animals. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that. It's, uh, and and now, I think just recently, I read in the news that the, the economy is really just ready to go. Clean. Yeah, they just announced like a new economic measures. Like, uh, basically, what the expectation is, like, the things are really, really bad, and the expectation is that things go even even worse, because it's like the total destruction of the what, whatever left of the currency and the saving capacity of the, of the people. Uh, so it's, it's, it's awful. I, I mean, uh, I'm really it, sorry. I, I remember, like, eight years ago, yeah. mostly uh, people in their 20s were willing to move out especially in the surrounding countries right. like Colombia, Panama, maybe Brazil. People were not willing to move to Brazil because of the language barrier. They speak Portuguese. Right. And it's kind of similar, but it's still people feel yeah. more comfortable going to a Spanish-speaking yes. country. But uh, recently, even uh, the, the Spanish-speaking countries are overrun. For so many Venezuelans moving there, so there yes. are even people going to Brazil. That is a bigger country, like 200 million, so they can support more. All uh, of this is such a travesty because <laughs> Venezuela. I mean, there used to be, you know, riches of Venezuela. You know, they, it, it was a. It is. It's a beautiful country full of yeah. natural resources. Yes, it is. Yeah, we. Uh, I usually talk with people that want to bring a change in in Venezuela, but the things. It requires a huge uh, change of mind of the population in the sense like uh, Venezuela was lost in the year 1958. Yes. Until the year 1958, we have a right-wing di dictatorship. Right. Was the last good president that we have. The last president that each year was better than the previous one. I mean, my, my mom and my grandma used to tell me each year was better than the previous one. Then, on the year 58, uh, some people in the military and political parties, left-wing political parties, start, you know, uh, uh, doing some activism with the right, people. Right. And they bring him down and he surrendered. He left the country. And after that, each year was worse than the previous one, since year 58. But the thing is, on the 50s, Venezuela was so good economically that uh, people didn't start noticing until the 80s, 90s. That and things the socialism were really started, started to work. Yeah. 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 And uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sure that you already heard about Chavez. Yes. Yes. And the, the thing, one thing that helped him to win the elections in 1998 was that he has a military background and a lot of people used to uh, want uh, the, they remember that the last good president was a military and they wanted the, like a, they a military They played the game. people, yeah. they played on the populism and to put in a socialist. Yeah, and but no, nobody knew that he was a left-wing military. He was a communist with strong ties with Cuba. Uh, uh, that's what's not... Uh, now, do you see what's happening? You see the... Obviously, you pay attention to political situations going on in this country now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Do you see some of the same creeping socialism that you saw in Venezuela? Yeah. 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 Do you see and that? that is a really concern for us. Yeah. Because we see that the people is not aware what is really happening, you know? The people is like a blind. The people like to that the that the government that the state provide free stuff right. and that is not the solution no, no we, we, we leave that we know that that is wrong what do you obviously you keep in contact with your family what are, what are they going to do if things get worse are you well the thing is um, whatever i have a very small family 
like my sister, she's like 55, uh -huh. something like that. She's taking care of my my mom. Okay. Uh, Over there, I of course I help him whenever I. Of course. I, I, could you? I could, could you? But if it, things get worse, could uh, you? Could they seek well, political yeah. asylum and you take him in? Or? I don't know because it's difficult. You know, asylum means that you are a political. Uh, yeah, there's a political. Right. Yeah, yes, exactly. And actually. Yeah. They are not directly, to, uh, yeah. yes, you know, the, the other way is come here illegally and we are no, and we don't support we don't, that. We don't approve that. Yes, we and, don't support, and, and no, even we because, don't, because we know language, that it's not a solution. If yeah. things get that worse, uh, they still prefer, because they don't live in the capital, they live in a small yeah, town, okay. yeah. and things are a little bit yeah. more manageable okay. uh, regarding it, uh, security and stuff. Uh, uh, well, maybe less good. criminal, that's good. criminality, you know, but they, they prefer like, maybe if that's the case, maybe move to a Spanish-speaking country like Mexico. Okay. Uh, now, okay. do what are, what do you think is going to happen in, in the near future with Venezuela? Wow, you know, I, <laughs> I we don't know really because okay. about to be one honest, the best option would be that Trump decides to take the oil, the oil. Yeah. That would be the best scenario. But uh, we believe, and uh, United States has a, a lot of reasons to not meddle again with other countries' affairs. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, there but is you no know, but in the case of Venezuela, is no. We we can say that it's only countries' uh, 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 affairs because Venezuela support terrorism. Yeah, in yeah. Venezuela, what, I, what I'm saying is like I'm not saying in the sense that the. U.S. I'm saying in the sense U.S. the countries of the world should stop asking U.S. to be the big dad, oh, sure. fixing everybody's issues. Yeah. I mean, the people should fix their own issues. Thank you. That's uh, that's yeah. what it should be, and that's the only thing that can make it durable. In time. Yeah, I people think that's part own. of Trump's message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, we, it's about time to you. Yeah, you know. we believe like if there is like a let's say a group of political movement that want a healthy chain for the country. I think that it's okay maybe to create some uh, connections with the uh, U.S. government and, and support because that could be more durable oh, sure. in time. And also, as my wife she was about to say, there is a threat, like uh, there, is a, there is a lot of Islamic uh, stuff yeah. entering really? Venezuela to try to Take uh, advantage of the chaos and start permeating into the American continent. Oh, the vice okay. president has some the uh, vice links president with has the links in uh, Syria, and yeah. Lebanon. The vice president, best one. Yeah, yeah, Besides, the they are. You know, it's drug it's, teams actually teams. Venezuela right now is a threat for the region. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not just a country with a dictatorship. You know, isolated. Yeah, well, yeah. that could be a uh, that could be a reason for yeah. Trump because of national security exactly. yeah. to that's go exactly. ahead and that become be involved. A, yeah, because yeah, that but, could be a violation. But you know, about a week ago, I had a um, um, press interview with the what is the name? The U.S. ambassador, uh, uh, Nikki ambassador Halley. Nikki Haley. She was in the border with Venezuela and Colombia between Venezuela and Colombia, and she says that. Uh, United States uh, is not going further to against to Venezuelan government because the region doesn't allow the United States, yeah. to, and and that is true. Yeah, so, I mean, that there, is true. there is yeah. a lot of left-wing governments in, in, in the region. Yes, and they protect each other. Yes, and just that, in they Mexico, don't allow. Mexico, just yes. they talk bad about oh Maduro government, blah blah blah. But when somebody wants to do yes. okay, something strong against Maduro regime, they, oh no, no. Yes, uh, yes. The, the same op opposition in Venezuela that protects, they protect the, re the regime. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's really hard, you know, because the socialist thing is very... They're gangsters. I mean, they yes. think like gangsters and they yes. gay are gangsters exactly. and that's, and that's how I think the left doesn't understand, the people that support socialism don't understand that when they put their trust in a centralized government mm -hmm. yeah. that you can't trust that those people are going to be benign yeah. generous yeah. good yeah. people angels yeah, yeah. yeah. human nature dictates mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. power corrupts yeah. and when you gain power that's why that you know they here we're 
yeah. we try to fragment it, keep it as down to the individual as much as possible. Yeah, as less centralized as possible. Exactly, yeah. and, we, and that's been eroded over several decades, and now I think we have an infiltration here. I mean, look, we have guys like John Brennan, mm -hmm. who were CIA director. Yeah. Yeah. This guy took his oath of Wasif on the Koran. Yeah. On the Koran. He yeah. voted communist. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I that's I, I, He I, was a member ready. of the Communist Party, and he took his oath to be CIA director. I mean, if you, if I would have said this 20 years ago, that there'd be a CIA director that would once voted communist and took his oath of office in the Koran, they would lock me up in the loony bin. Yeah. What did happen? Yeah. No, that's very concerning. Very, I mean, yes, they are. Though. They have infiltrated this government, like. Well, like you just brought it up, how they infiltrated almost every government in Latin America. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all leftist, and over the decades, I mean, we were warned about this going back again to the 50s. You know, when Gorbachev says, you know, we'll take you over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I read about the, uh, what's the name of this uh, famous uh, senator, or uh, congressman, uh, McCarthy. McCarthy. Oh, yeah, McCarthy. That he called, uh, yeah. they make fun of him, that he called ev everybody a communist, yeah. but he was at right. the end, he was <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. He was That's right. what I say. Well, over time, the truth always surfaces. Mm -hmm. yeah. They always try to hide it from us with, you know, their their lies on the mainstream media and all. Yeah. But I find being out here, the people I speak to, from, you know, that most people see right through the lies. They, you know, they, they can sense, like you can tell when someone's being dishonest or it is a like that other sense that goes yeah. on, spidey sense or whatever you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> yeah, let, uh, one thing that I, <laughs> I want to mention is also like we are, are Venezuelan. We talk with other Venezuelans that are right. here, like very small community. But we talk with each other, and uh, I would say that uh, uh, we are like an exception. Really? Uh, yeah, because yeah. Uh, we notice is that Venezuela. Since I grew up, since we grew up, we, from the media, the TV, and the movies, and the news, and the public education, we are raised indoctrinated. indoctrinated. Well, indeed, I was going to say, and that brings up another question. When your relatives come over here and they see or are exposed to you and your knowledge and your views, does it have any it, effect? It took me a very hard time. It took me like yeah. two, three years. Like reading, for example, like the Second Amendment. Right. If uh, people in uh, any Venezuelan that you ask the Second Amendment, oh, that's crazy. That's right, crazy. right. Because we are indoctrinated that uh, only the government should right. have guns. Right. And that's uh, crazy. And once you start understanding the reason, the logic, the argument behind that, uh, it's amazing. And then when I talk my, with my family and other friends and, and I start explaining what the importance of the yeah. Second Amendment and that stuff, it's a. a, a they are, it's tough to grasp, grasp for them because so many years. Yes. But at the end, they yes, start, oh, like, yeah. maybe yeah, you are yeah. right. Yeah. And you know, family. one of the yeah. first things that Chavez did was take out the guns yes. from the people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the first thing they always do. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Indeed. And now they're trying to take away our first amendment here so they can take away the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah. That's the trick. You know, because if they take, take away the first amendment, then you don't hear about them taking away the guns. Mm -hmm. I mean, they control the mess. It's getting real hard from here, though, because, you know, we are used to freedom. It's like you just brought up. Yeah. Once you are grown up in something, it's hard to take it away or put them in another space. Yeah. I, of course, have grown up in the United States and have always grew up with the idea that you have freedom here. My God, you can say what you want. We agree to disagree. Uh, you know, make fun of the government and not have to worry about the repercussions. Mm -hmm. And so that is innate here. I mean, we have a constitution that you uh, probably know more about the Native Americans or do. You know, I find most naturalized people that come here know more about yeah, the yeah, government exactly. than the people that take everything for granted. Yeah, right? yeah, they take it for granted. Yeah, and they don't even teach civics anymore in school. Yeah, so, that's you know. Crazy. That's, yeah, I know. That's crazy. Nuts. Like the Pledge of Alliance. We, we were surprised that in some public schools they don't sing the anthem. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the, uh, some kids What's don't that? even know. <laughs> that's that's yeah. 
and uh, the, the, to pray in the school that that's forbidden. Again, isn't they, didn't you see this in Venezuela too? When they, the school system and the and the, the, the thing is, the time. thing is, what I learned is that the Venezuela they take it over with the traditional Marxism, economic Marxism, a class warfare, rich right. poor against rich. Yeah. That they, that I understand that that didn't work here. So they are they still push over. it. They are pushing, but yeah, they, they are not winning with that role. They are winning with the cultural Marxism. Exactly. With the <laughs> taking people away from Christian values. Yes. Taking people away from the identity, from the country, their yes. the history, their ancestors. Yes. Uh, the, Which uh, is again a, a, the Marxist thing. You destroy the history, you rewrite it in your own. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Promoting like uh, the gen the generosity and promoting like uh, anti values and stuff. So that I see, I perceive that's the way they are yes. doing uh, here. We're in for some interesting times. I pray for the people of Venezuela. I pray for the people here. You know, uh, but Venezuela because it's been in the news just recently. Was, you know, it's fine. Thank you for this. You know, this information because I've been thinking about it. Because you know, like, oh man, I, we pray. We we appreciate the love that the sense that at the end, uh, United States is still the like. The last uh, uh, virtue or moral uh, yes. uh, ground uh, in, the, in the world. Yes, uh, because of his still, still strong Christian yes. uh, values, uh, and uh, we, and we don't want it to, to stay like that. Um, hopefully, this guy. Can. <laughs> oh, I think. I mean, yeah, yes. I think. I mean, Lockwood was all against yeah. him, and he got in. Yeah, that's. Uh, he got in. Yeah. Yeah. This. He got in. Come on! Yeah, With the, all that there was against That was amazing, right? I remember the, the election night. Uh, uh, she, because, I mean, everybody was, I was saying, so nervous. Hillary, Hillary is going to win, Hillary is going to win. And I was like, okay, like, you know, yeah. preparing for the worst scenario. Yeah. Okay, we have to survive. And she was even crying. <laughs> I remember when he won Florida. We <laughs> were. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think, I, I, being out here in the streets, I was getting a gauge. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I mean, I was I was going, I, I get that little trepidation every now and then, but for the most part, I was going, wait, wait. You know, I'd see a dozen Bernie parades because, you know, this is a liberal cesspool. And they, uh, but I never saw anything from Clinton. But I did hear a lot of people talking about Trump because he was impossible not to talk about, right? Yeah. So, right. <laughs> and then you look, you say, well, he had the media against him. He had the, the Silicon Valley against him. He had the uh, uh, Hollywood against him. The, uh, he had the Pope against him. He had the, uh, uh, and now the, the Department of Justice against this, against him. And I, this, this speaks to is, is, is our will. To get over all of that, to the, the evil. Just think of that combined evil. And we just, we just, we just brushed it aside, and here he is deal with it. Yeah. And now the battle, yeah, right? But now the battle is really on because they haven't stopped. I mean, them attacking the, you know, the, the First Amendment like they are. Yeah. Are you familiar with Infowars at all? Have you, yeah. 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 We, we know that they want to, they have a strong push to censor yes. from social media and stuff. Facebook. I was a guest just this last Thursday on InfoWar. Oh, really? Yeah, I closed out the show with uh, Owen Schroeder in the war room. Uh -huh. So I've been on a few times uh, from conversations like this. And I wouldn't be surprised if this conversation makes national news because, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because our testimony has been beautiful. I want to thank you very much no, for that. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and yeah. let me, before you leave, uh -huh. this is something that that works anywhere, Venezuela, I don't care where you go, okay? This is a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton.
<laughs> this is good for any crime in the world. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And um, on the back, you got my YouTube channel. Oh, okay, and great. Like to go see yourselves on on sure. video. Yeah, it would be a nice souvenir for your. Yeah. And uh, if you like to support me, you can go get some of my designs on apparel. Okay. Then, then you can walk around and you know piss liberals off. Okay. <laughs> sure. right. It was Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you very Thank much. You much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now we get into the two insidious, uh, wormy journalists, the uh, Spanish journalists here. Uh, I call them that because of the, what you're going to see. I uh, want you to watch the woman who has her picture taken with Trump and the one wormy journalist reaction to what she did when he didn't think I could see it, which I couldn't, but the cameras caught it. And if I had caught either one of their reactions, this would have been a whole nother, uh, you know, little clip here. It probably wouldn't have lasted any longer than it did because these wormy bastards weren't about to let me to go ahead and start grilling them. But I certainly would have liked to have been able to talk to the couple you just listened to first, so I would have ammunition to go ahead and lay on to these guys. Uh, and so, yeah, and the and the last couple that you're going to see, you know, they're just fun. So, uh, you know, back at it, and here we go on the streets again. Got a jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. <laughs> so what do you do? What do you do down there in Miami? We are journalists. So you where? You what? We are journalists. And what? I'm sorry. We are journalists. Journalists. Yes. And news. For whom? No, it's American. It's Spanish. It's Spanish. Uh, channel. Uh, channel. Terrific. In That's Miami. terrific. Oh, and it's uh, in the Miami area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> no, but we do the best. Oh, okay. Great. And what do you, what do you, I mean, journalists more, what do you mostly report on? What are you reporting on? This is Venezuela. Venezuela crime. Venezuela? Yeah. Tell us about that, because uh, what's going on down yeah. there right now is ins so looks insane. Yeah. What are you getting as journalists? What are you, what, what's your take on what's going on down there? It's terrific. So the government is a regime against the people. You know? What do you think is going to happen? Because he's been know. having a war in journalists down there. So is Mexico. Yeah. Uh, I just read a journalist got killed in Mexico. Was yeah. it a week ago or so? A lot of journalists. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's almost weekly. I mean, you're hearing about... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. But I... Do you report from there or from here? No, from here. Oh. No, no, from here. <laughs> you know, where is the Yes, Museum? Did, it's right with that bright red brick building. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Did Bye. I give you a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton? Thank you. Here. Here. Let me give you one. This is uh, good for any crime in the world. Okay. Thank you. All right. Where are you guys from? Uh, Texas. Texas. What part? San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah. What this referring to is right now there's a. There's a censoring of anything that's, let's say, right of center politically. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, are you familiar? You're from Texas. Have you ever heard of a man called Alex Jones? Yes. Oh, well, Infowars, and they have been banning him. They took him off. Of, are you aware of that? They took him off of his Facebook. Yeah. So you've yeah. heard about this news? Yeah. Well, the argument is why. I mean, doesn't he have a right to speak? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if it's stupid, he's got a right to speak. Right. Uh -huh. Look at him, but I like him. <laughs> uh, no. Well, he's got a right to speak. And that's that's what's cool about it. People complain about his tweets. Like, oh, I love his tweets. When was the last time anybody, you know... You have to take it the positive way. You have to laugh about it. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for... It's uh, freedom of expression. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah, okay, here, let me give you guys. Here, this is a get out of jail free card from Hillary All Clinton. Right. <laughs> this is good for any crime in the world. <laughs> All right.